What's up guys, this is Sim with Vengeance and I'm back here with another NCAA Football 14 UAB Blazers Dynasty and I know we uploaded one yesterday but with my uh, recent scheduling and everything else <clears throat> I'm going to be bulk recording the rest of Madden and uh, the rest of the Baltimore Orioles franchise so if you guys are wondering where that's going to be at it's going to be coming soon and I also am still going to be bringing out the uh, Stephen F. Austin uh, Dynasty as well I'm probably going to do that like up every Sunday if that's okay with you guys so just a little bit of an update before we begin so I know you guys saw yesterday's game uh, we came out with a good win so we're gonna take on the Marshall Thundering Herd in this one we moved up one in the rankings to number seven in the country we are kicking butt guys so if you guys are hyped for today drop a like this is the game of the year so far Marshall has only lost one game and it was to a pretty good opponent, if I'm not mistaken. I think they lost to a ranked opponent. Uh, but they have only one loss on the season. They are kicking butt, and so are we. So this this could be the season. This could be the game, man. This could be the game. I'm telling you right now, we cannot sleep on Marshall. I know we're number seven in the country, but they're they're pretty good as well. If they beat us, well, I mean, it could be two conference USA teams in the top 25, which we would be good for the conference. But bad for us because then we'd lose on our national championship hopes. But we're going to go try and get our W today. <clears throat> Granted that Marshall is a very good football team. And we need to come out with that win. So, anyway. Um, just getting ready for Marshall. Of course, we're taking a look at some recruiting. And um, we're, we're getting closing in on some guys. I know we got a couple more guys that uh, have committed already. We, f we lost Trey Browning to Iowa. And we lost Derek Branch to Mississippi State, but we didn't have much. We didn't have much stocked on those guys anyway. Uh, so now we're gonna put a little bit more on Travis Taylor. Travis Taylor seems like a guy that I can get behind. He seems to be all in for UAB football, and so I like guys who like to be committed to UAB football. You know, who doesn't? But we're gonna take a look at some top 25 polls now, and we're gonna see how we moved up uh, one spot. And you see UCLA, or no wait, not UCLA. Uh, they did. They do have one loss on the season, but uh, there was another team that took a loss. But we're gonna find that out here in a second. South Carolina, Florida. You got Texas in there still. We got us, UCLA, uh, Florida State, who's six and two, Michigan at eight and one, and you got Penn State in there as well. Oregon took their first loss. They dropped from six to twelve after a loss to USC. We got Alabama all the way down to seventeen. They lost to LSU. Tough loss there. Um, <clears throat> Washington State still in there as well. Nebraska, USC are still in there. USC is 5-4 and four and in the top 25. They must have gotten some really tough losses to some ranked teams and must have beaten some ranked opponents as well. Because uh, normally a 5-4 and four team would not be ranked. But in USC's case, they must have gotten some quality wins. That's just my assumption. I could be wrong. Maybe the... Maybe the game is just giving them a little boost of confidence after beating some crappy opponents. I don't know. But anyway, take a look at the conference standings. And this is why this game is so big, too. If we lose, we may not be able to go to the conference championship game. So we have to win this game. That's what I'm saying. Like, we cannot lose this game. It's going to be... Like, this is the game of the year. This is the game that will make or break our season. Because after this game, we have pretty much a cakewalk throughout the rest of the season. We have a bunch of uh, pretty crappy opponents coming our way. So get ready for some high-flying action football here, and UAB will take on the Marshall Thundering Herd in the game of the year. Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan, innovation that excites. This showdown between these two teams has been looming for quite some time. Both know the conference championship is at stake, and for the loser, that team is likely to take a major hit in its postseason bowl plan. Thanks for checking out the pregame show, NCAA College Football Action, coming up next with Brad and Kirk on the call. David and I will see you at halftime. And 
welcome to Marshall here in Jones C. Edwards Stadium as the number seven UAB Blazers are on the road taking on the Marshall Thundering Herd. This is a game that could make or break our chances to go to the Conference USA Championship game or even a national championship game if we lose. So we got James Hester Jr. out to the 20, breaks out to the right side to the 30, to the 35, to the 40, and that's where he's going to be taken out at the 40 for a 43 yard return. Here comes Heisman winning, or Heisman hopeful quarterback, Chris Jones. He has been spectacular this season, and we expect a big game out of him today. We need a big game out of him if we want to come out with the win. We have to have every single thing working if we want to come out with a win today. Because, like I said, Marshall's no joke. They got only one loss on the season. And you see Dominique Thomas getting the two-yard pickup in the first down. He's gotten – he's a third-string running back. Aaron Hicks is sitting out this week because he's got an injury. He's going to be back, I think, next week. So not nothing to worry about there. So – We'll be fine. We'll be fine. So Chris Jones pick up a 12 yards on the read option and gets the first down. Later on the drive, we have a single back formation. Third down and 10 here. Here is Jones dropping back, looking, and he gets hit as he throws. They send the blitz, and Jones could not get that one off. As he's going to be hurt, but he'll be back on the field. No worries, guys. He'll be fine. And uh, on comes the field goal unit for Green, and you know he's going to make that. He is an excellent kicker. My goodness, I'm glad I re recruited him when I got the chance to. He has been excellent. So here comes Marshall's offense. They have been, they have a pretty high uh, high-powered offense. And uh, they get off to Sean Johnson right there for a pickup of 11 yards and a first down. So later on, third down and nine. They like to run that no huddle, something that I tend to struggle against, but the defense has gotten better against this type of attack in recent years. So here, third down and nine. Here's Reed dropping back. They're going to go for the screen pass, and it's almost intercepted by Bauer as he was right there on the coverage. And now UAB gets the ball back here, third down and seven here. Let's see what the Blazers can do to get to keep the drive alive here and keep the ball in our possession. We get it off to Doug Nash. He makes a guy miss. He's down the sideline to the 20 to the 15. Nope, not quite to the 15. He gets that down to the 17 for a pickup of 48 yards. Second down and one here. They're going to hand it off to Matt Ford. Up the gut. Touchdown, UAB. It's now 10 0 here in the first quarter. Looks like UAB is starting to run away. They're showing why they are the number 17 team in the country. But do not sleep on Marshall. Here's Reed dropping back. Look at left side. It's going to be caught by Lake. He gets it down to the 44 yard line after a pickup of 17 on the play. Next play, first and 10. Reed drops back. Trying to take off running. He's got room to run. He's making a guy miss. He breaks a tackle and he gets the first down. So now he's run by there by Stan Reed. Second uh, later on in the drive, it's third and twelve. Seven seconds left here in the quarters. Reed drops back, looking left side. It's caught by Lake again on the out route, and oh, it's a fumble! But they do recover, and we get the ball back. <laughs> Lucky break for them, but I mean they didn't get the first down regardless. So good defense right there, guys. Good defense. Later on, we get it off to Donald Hills past midfield for a pickup of twelve yards and a first down. Then around second down and six. We're going to try to run a quick screen pass. Jones looking over to Brian Green. Gets the catch and a first down on the screen pass. Pick up a 13. And I don't run that play very often, but it does work from time to time. Second down and seven. Jones dropping back. Looking deep to the end zone. And this one's going to be intercepted by Hefner. As that one's going to be a touchback on that play. So now after the interception, let's see how Marshall can retaliate and try and get them some points on the board. Reed dropping back, taking off running, and he's going to pick up 17 on this play and gets the first down. Stan Reed likes to run. We got to try and contain that today, and I don't like to contain running quarterbacks. It's a pain in the butt. So Kelly off with the catch this time, gets it off to almost midfield, gets that first down, pickup of 11 yards. First and 10 again, hit the 49. Stan Reed in the shotgun all alone. Drops back, steps up. Takes off running, and he gets another first down on the play. So another pick of a 17 for him. And, man, they're just driving on this drive. They got the keys in drive, and they're going. So we got to try and put that we gotta put that e-brake on him. As we do that right there with the interception, John Banks, would you look at that big fella? Get the interception. I think that's his first interception as a blazer. That's pretty unique right there to see a first-time interception from a freshman corner. So right there, we get it off to underneath to Matt Ford. First down, Blazers once again. I like it when we get turnovers, man. It's like one of my favorite things. 
when we get turnovers, it just shows, you know, that we're very opportunistic. And we're not afraid to uh, take chances. So Dominic Thomas gets the first down on that play. Three carries, three yards. But, I mean, those were his first three touches as a Blazer. So, I mean, he's probably got some jitters, you know what I mean? You got to give him time. Some players get jitters. Some players are up for the challenge. And Like Justin Kelly, for example. When he was on, when he's on the field, he dominates. When, not so much for Dominic Thomas. He might have some butterflies. So Jones dropping back on second and four, looking underneath the Dominic Thomas. And he gets one out of the backfield, picking up 12 yards. And I think those butterflies are gone now. He picks up his first reception as a Blazer in his collegiate career. Later on, second down and 11 here. One in minute and nine seconds left on a read option. Here comes Chris Jones. He's got some room, running room, and he's going to get the first down. We have 79 rushing yards in the first half. Pretty good so far. I mean, we would like to keep that up. We'd like to, you know, utilize the run game. Later on, first and goal. Handoff, Matt Ford up the gut. Touchdown, Blazers. 17 to nothing. Here we go. This is going to be a fun one, ladies and gentlemen. This is going to be fun. Now we begin here on their drive. Third and three. Reed steps back, looking right side. Caught by DeAngelis. And DeAngelis gets the first down. Pick up a four and just enough to move the chains. Later on, very next play. First and 10. 24 seconds left here in the first half. Marshall has one timeout. Reed looks. Left or right side. Caught by Kelly. First down. Pick up a 16 on the play. And the chains move once again. So Reed is 11 of 20 for 93 yards in that one interception. So they haven't got on the board with a touchdown yet, but they've gotten on the board right here with a field goal. So they have something going. Their offense has been somewhat efficient. Not not anything too spectacular, but with mistakes like that with Dan Mullins getting the interception on the screen pass, that's pretty much why they're losing this game. Jones dropping back again. Left side, Doug Nash, touchdown, Blazers. It's now 24-3. As this one's looking like it could get out of hand real uh, real quick here. As uh, Marshall has got to get something going here on this drive in order to get something to keep themselves in the ball game. So they get a completion right there out to the 44-yard line. Later on, third down and 25. Oh, man. Third and 25. This is going to be this is gonna be a challenge for Marshall. Can Reed and the Marshall Thundering Herd come up on a play like this? Well, no. Charles Hamby gets the interception. They tried to throw one up real quick. They tried to... They tried to slide one right by us, but it didn't work out. So later on, third and five, Jones looking for that screen pass. Does not get the first down from Matt Ford. Good defense there from Marshall. And we got to punt the football away. Not something you normally see here from the Blazers, but they have been doing that quite a few times. They're up on a good opponent anyway. Uh, but right, right here, DeAngelis gets the handoff, and he gets the first down, breaking a bunch of tackles on his way there to get that first down. My Lord, who knew he had such power? But later on, first and 10. Here is Reed. Does a little pump fake. Gets the completion off to Lake. And they're now inside the red zone for like the first time in this game. So now, they're, they're finally cooking now. They're finally cooking. This is not good for us. This is no bueno. This is what the this is what the scouting report said not to do. Reed drops back. Gets taken down for the sack. We, we forced him to settle for another field goal right here. So, we're all good here. Fourth and 23. This is a pretty long field goal attempt, actually. It's 47 yards. Kick is up, and it squeaks through. It's good. It's now 24-6. Both teams have 12 first downs, though. This is, this is going to be interesting from here on out. Jones dropping back. Looks deep left side. It's caught by Doug Nash. He's been a popular target today. And now second and goal here for the Blazers. Jones dropping back, scrambling to his left, going to try and take it himself, and he coughs up the football turnover on the Blazers' part. This is not the kind of game that Chris Jones should be having if he wants to be considered for the Heisman. But, hey, I mean, every quarterback's going to have these kind of days, and DeAngelis is going to take this one a long way to the 35, 30, 25, 20, out at the 17-yard line. He took that one a long way before... Um, he was taken down. So we need to do better than that. So, anyway, third down and nine. Reed dropping back. Looks. Has time to throw. Looks left side. It's going to be caught by Burks. Bo Burks for a pickup of 15 yards on a first down. And now first and goal. Very next play here in the fourth quarter. Reed drops back. Looking over the middle. Burks again. Touchdown. Blazers. It's Or not Blazers, but a uh, thundering herd. It's now 24 to 12. They're going to go for the two-point conversion here. And uh, let's see if they can get it. Trying to break it a 10-point game. Reed trying to take off. Not happening. And uh, now 24-12 as it stands. So we got we still got a uh, two-score lead. But 
they still have to get two touchdowns in order to try and get back in it. So, here is Jones dropping back, looking left side. It's caught by James Hester Jr. First down, Blazers. Second down and five. We got to keep this one, you know, we want to keep this one, like, really close. Or at least not really close, but we got to keep this one out of reach, which is what I meant to say. So, James Hester Jr. again with another catch. Later on, third and 13 here. <clears throat> now, this is probably where I made my, probably my biggest mistake of the game. Right here. I, I go underneath to be safe, but I, I thought to myself, man, I'm going to go for it. And I ended up, you know, that was probably the biggest mistake I've made as Jones just could not get that one to go. Thurman Knox steps out of bounds after catching the pass. He had some running room to go, and I figured he could have got it, but, I mean, I made a mistake. That was my fault. Later, Reed throwing it left side, caught by a lake first down. The drive stays alive for Thundering Herds. The thundering herd of Marshall, and uh, this is not what we wanted to do because now they're, they're give, we're giving them a chance. Basically, we don't want to give them any chances, and we just did that with this failed fourth down conversion. As Reed steps back again, caught by Samuel on the right side down to the 40-yard line, and now first and ten again. 116 left here in the fourth. Time is ticking away, yes, but they still have a chance. They still have all three timeouts. I mean, anything can happen. Reed steps back, throws a deep pass. And this one's intercepted by Jared Lewis. And it gets even crazier. It gets even crazier for us, the UAB Blazers. Jones steps way back, looking over the middle. Donald Hill's first down. And they have to burn a timeout here. As, uh, you know, Mar as it looked like I said I burned one, but they burned one first. But anyway, later on, play action here. Jones stepping back, looks, tries to dump it off over the head of... Holloway and he picks it right off and Jones has just not had a great day it's been turnover riddled all game long and should I be running the ball probably again I kind of wasn't thinking in the fourth quarter I was just like oh yeah let's just uh, put on more points at the board but uh, anyway off to Bo Burks another completion right there again we're giving these guys chances for some reason this is this is the, this is what happens when you get a little too cocky and you get way too overconfident in your team and their abilities. And you kind of, I, I'll admit it, I kind of took Marshall for granted in a little bit in the fourth quarter. And now they're back in it. Only a five-point deficit. And at this point, I'm kind of just angry. You know, I'm just angry. And I wanted to, I wanted to get my shot back at him to, for making this closer than it should have been. But I was, still try, I was still trying to score. I'll admit it. I, I was being a bad sport about it. You see Chris Jones going to take this one himself. Uh, he does get the touchdown, making it 31-19, and that's your final score. So Marshall does put up a good fight in the second half. We got a little cocky, though, and we probably should not have had it as close as it should have been, but we'll take the win anyway. We are now 9-0 on the year, and man, it feels good to say that. Man, only a few games left, and they are... They're going to be fun. I'll, I'll tell you that much. Get ready for the most highly anticipated games for the rest of the season. We could be going to a national championship. If all, if all plays out right, we could be going to a national championship. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you guys enjoyed, drop a like. And if you're new to the channel at all, hit that subscribe button down below. But until next time, my name is Sim with Vengeance, and I'm out. Peace.